So Ibogaine is a, um, it's a serotonin based hallucinogen just like LSD, psilocybin, but it is unique amongst um, serotonergic hallucinogens for opiate withdrawal. So people that are heroin addicts that go into withdrawal, um, there's a guy, Howard Lotsoff, who was a lay, um, uh, he was, uh, lived in New York and he was a heroin addict uh, in, I believe, the 60s, and he heard about Ibogaine, and he was looking to try different drugs to get high. And he tried Ibogaine, and he had this, it has a very long half-life experience, it could be anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. Um, and he, it sort of, he, he said that it miraculously cured his heroin addiction. He treated his withdrawal, and he had a sober conversion experience. Now, the interesting thing, if you take someone who's in opiate withdrawal, heroin withdrawal, you give them psilocybin, it's not going to treat their withdrawal. They're not going to, you know, be having a bad time, uh, you, you know, on uh, opiate withdrawal, and, and it won't, won't treat it. Um, if you give Ibogaine to someone who's in heroin withdrawal, one dose um, can um, get rid of their withdrawal symptoms. Um, and up, you know, close to 100% of people in the studies that have been done uh, within uh, 24 hours, complete resolution of opiate withdrawal, one treatment, one time. And so Ken, Ken Alper is a member of our research team. He's one of the country experts on Ibogaine. And he's feverishly trying to figure out what is it about Ibogaine that allows it to treat opiate withdrawal that makes it different than other serotonergic hallucinogens. So um, it really appears that Ibogaine has this direct biologic effect for opiate withdrawal. There's something different about it the, chemically. There is something different about it, you know. And then there's the psycho-spiritual effect that may kind of uh, lead people to to a sober kind of lifestyle. But the opiate withdrawal seems very biological.